There's a boy in Father Mulligan's class. He draws all day in his notebooks. The boy is very crass. The boy is very crass. Good morning, class. How is everybody this morning? Let's start the day with the Our Father. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, as on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. All right, class, let's open up our textbooks to page 35, and we'll uh, look at Paul's letters to the Romans. Now, what do we, what, 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 what did we, uh, what do we, what, what, what did we talk about with Paul and the Romans uh, yesterday? We talked about love thy neighbor. Uh, love thy neighbor was a really important theme for Paul, and it comes up a lot, but no more uh, does it come up more than in Paul's letters to the Romans. Now, we can talk about your neighbor and being uh, friendly with your neighbor, but as Tom. Yes, Father. Are you paying attention with us? Are you with us today? I'm very sorry, Father, yes. All right, well, let's just keep your eyes up on the board here. Now, we talked about Paul's letters to the Romans yesterday, and we talked about some examples. Now, there, there are, of course, love thy neighbor in a literal sense, where we, where we literally love our neighbor, and, we, and we, uh, we love the people that live around us. But there's also the idea of love thy neighbor in reference to anybody. Now, there's a lot of people out there who say, well, it just means to love the person you're next to. But it's not true. And we have to understand that those people are, they could be our enemies, they could be our friends, they could be our uh, people that we don't even know, strangers. We have to love strangers, not just neighbors and friends. So let's apply it to some examples. Let's say we're in the cafeteria and Sally comes over with a glass of milk. And she, she doesn't have any lunch, she just has her, her, her beverage. But Tom. Yes, Father. I, I can tell that you're not paying attention to the lecture here. I need you to pay. Uh, I, mean, I need you to pay attention up here. Okay? I'm sorry, Father. Um, we're talking about Paul's letters to the Romans. Could you tell me who Paul was writing to? Uh, Paul, in his letters to the Romans, he was writing to the Romans, Father. That's right. You know what, class? I'd, I'd like to speak with Tom outside, if you don't mind, Tom. lovely day it is out here, isn't it, Tom? Yes, Father. It's too bad we have to be inside all day, huh? <laughs> <laughs> You're right, Father. Uh, now, Tom, I know that you've been working on something during my lectures. It seems like you're working on some kind of sketch for an art class. I'm sorry, Father. I've just been so consumed with my drawings. Well, now, don't get too upset. I, I happen to have a, a soft spot in my heart for the artiste. <laughs> Do you mind if I take a look? Oh, no, Father, no. Oh, come on. I won't be too harsh a critic. Okay. Let me just take a peek. Ooh. Aha. I see. See you've drawn uh, Satan's little serpent with his two evil apples there, <laughs> huh? <laughs> yes, Father. Oh, wow, very interesting. Very interesting. Looks to me like you've got a uh, whole notebook full of these, uh, these dirty little devils here. Yes, Oh, I my. A couple pages. Oh, my goodness. Let me just see a few more. Okay. Mm -hmm. Well, this is very interesting. Let me ask you something, Tom. How old are you? I just turned nine, Father. All right. That's a uh, fairly healthy age for you to start exploring your sexuality. And I think it's, oh. it's healthy for you to be exploring your sexuality through some of these, uh, some of these drawings. <laughs> Pick it up for that okay. one. I'll tell you, I think it's, it's very healthy for you to be exploring your, your sexuality right now at this age. And, and I think yeah. it's, a, it's, a, it's a very healthy way of doing it through these sketches I see here. Mm -hmm. And, uh, and I, I, just, I just wish you would keep it out of my classroom, <laughs> okay? It won't happen again, Father. I'm sorry. Why don't we go back inside and we'll get back to class and, and you'll just promise to keep it out of my classroom I from will, now Father. on, okay? I'm sorry. All right, let's go. There's a boy in Father Mullen. 
mulligan's class. He draws all day in his notebooks. The boy is very crass. The boy is very